Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to part 20 of the Wales campaign for Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms. This video will be the mid-season finale. Basically what the plan is on my channel is to do 20 episodes, which is what this is right now. And basically we are going to try and aim to take out most of the English lands that are remaining. So that would be probably Dublin over here. They may have one or two more in Ireland. But if we can take Dublin and end the episode there, we've practically wiped out most of the English territories and the mainland. And that's where we will leave this campaign. I will then concentrate my channel on uploading a Total War Attila content and other content as well. And then probably in March or April, I will pick this campaign back up. And we can continue then where we left off and eventually try to do a domination campaign where we take over all of Scotland, Ireland and Norway and own all of the territories in Great Britain. But anyway, let's continue with this episode. Ivor of Medinoyth, you can go to Arundel. Captain Rogers is there with a bunch of Templars who are going to have to be kicked out, I'm afraid. Fortunately, we have men nearby. It's an 8 to 9 ratio in their favour. So we're going to fight this battle. And basically this video, it's going to be as long as it takes. So it could be 20 minutes long, it could be an hour long. I won't know and you won't know. Well, well you'll know before me because you'll see the, the, um, the video title and the video length. But I won't know as I'm recording this. So what we're going to do here, we're going to group up the catapults. Keep them where they are. All of these English billmen can be grouped together. We'll actually put the Welsh militia with them as well. Uh, I think they're okay the way they are. All of the militia and the Meronoi spears can be grouped up into a thin kind of formation just in front of the ballistas. And then the bows can stay out in front where they are. We'll use fire this time. This is going to be quite a difficult battle to win, I think. We want to get auto fire on and use fire and unfortunately the ally is is under the AI control I accidentally messed up there I wanted to control them and I didn't I've done that a couple of times in this campaign so far I don't know if the English are actually going to be attacking me or not so I'm actually just gonna brisk my way forward at walking pace and try and get a few pot shots away. They're on a hill at the moment. They are camping. And let's have a quick look to see what they have. They have some longbowmen by the looks of things. Some knights as well. Swordsmen. And some cavalry as well. Probably heavy cavalry. And of course they are Templar units. They're going to be quite good. So we are going to have to watch out. I've told my AI ally to actually try and support me as if possible. He's over here at the moment. So hopefully he won't take too long to get to the battlefield. We have my uh, general here. Who I think is probably going to be wise. Let's have a look. Crossbowman on the left flank. Probably the left flank is going to be the best bet. So we're just going to walk him to that left flank at the moment. No point rushing ourselves. I think we're okay to stay where they are right now. I'm going to tell my archers to brisk forward slightly. And my militiamen can go ahead of my... Ballista, which of course will be clearing my own men, hopefully. Let's have a quick look just to see if it does clear my own men. I'm hoping it will. Should do from there. Yeah, that's fine. They're actually going to be pelting the enemy and taking many of them out. Unfortunately, their longbows are actually attacking me right now. So we are going to have to be slightly weird. You can aim for the longbowman there. And I think it's probably going to be best to pull my line back slightly. My cavalry, of course. Heading up the left flank. Going to be using them shortly. Hold them off as much as we can. We're going to be doing lots of damage with this uh, artillery. As you can see we are going to be taking many of them out like we are. Just took about six or seven out in one shot. The crossbowmen are going to cause me a headache in this battle. So I need to be very very wary indeed of them. Now unfortunately I'm probably going to lose my hellweir bowmen here. I don't mind that. They can be used as fodder. Make them waste their ammunition on me like that. Uh, my general is kind of walking slowly into position. There are mainly Templar crossbowmen that are near him. I'm just going to walk. No point exerting ourselves in this battle because we are weakened. I'm hoping I can do most of the winning with this army that I have and not have to worry with, about my, my allies. Try and save as many as we can so we can support the north. 
They're actually going to lose formation as well. As we continue to pelt the spearmen. Look at that. The spearmen are absolutely wrecked. A massive, massive dirt pit there. And look at the horses as well. They have completely burnt to a crisp. We are wrecking the English. Oh my goodness gracious me. That was fantastic. Burnt horses all around. And now it would be a good time to probably charge. So let's get our general. And we'll try and take out one of those crossbowman units. We're going to go for a hammer and anvil strike. We're going to try and take them out as quickly and efficiently as we can. As my general now gets into a good charge position. He's been rested. He's fresh. He's eager. And hopefully we can crash into them and do lots of damage. They do have Templar sergeants uh, behind. So we want to be taking these out in a good charge. That's what we want. Victory is distinct. They are completely wiped out. Holy crap. We are going to be wiping them out, I'm hoping. I don't want to stay in here too long. Templar crossbowmen there as well. Down to 27. We still have 19 horses remaining. 24 missiles, 23. 23. 58. Shit, we need to get out there now, I think. Let's get ourselves out. And we have actually lost our bowmen, finally. And as you can see, they actually exposed a lot of their uh, crossbowmen. Which is where we're going to be attacking next. We're going to be going for the longbowmen at the front now. Now that they are stretched away from their main line. We've done enough pulling and pulling. Pushing and pulling, I should say. And my... Oh, my ballista is doing fantastic. My ballista is winning the battle for us. And just taking out loads and loads of enemies. And we are routing. We are routing the longbowmen. Completely wiping them out. Cavalry doing well. Oh, I've lost lots of cavalry though. I need to be very careful. Let's go up to this flank up here. Get out of there. We've got 13 remaining. We've routed them. That's good enough for me. They are in disarray of course. And my allies are taking their time. They are really, really, really taking their time. Which is irritating. I need to use up as much of this ammunition as I possibly can. Take out as much of this heavy cavalry that I can. Oh! Oh, that was good. Enemy General Captain Roger is dead. They're going to be disheartened, you would think, so we may want to get ourselves into a decent charge position. I'm thinking right flank, just in the tree line. Let's walk there. And I'm actually going to be... I don't want to lose too many men, so let's pull the spearmen back. Pull some of our units away from the main force. I don't mind exposing my ballistas because I don't think they are going to charge me. So this is fine by me at the moment. My ally. Let's have a quick look at my ally. Let's go to the other side of the battlefield. And he, I don't know what he's doing. He's idle. He could actually support me. Have they glitched out? I don't know. They possibly have glitched out. See if we can get them to move. That helps. We've got them into shootout stance. They are moving. That's good. I think they're going to move towards us eventually. I do need them. So I'm hoping they will not bug out on me. So Templar crossbowmen are actually coming towards me. And some longbowmen as well. I'm going to actually go for the longbowmen. Because they are coming towards me. And we do have a good distance on ourselves to charge them. Meanwhile the ballista can aim for the crossbowmen at the front. As a matter of fact, the ballista... Yes, we'll aim for the crossbow at the front. With both ballista units. And my cavalry can go for a charge. Decent position for a charge. Got them. Lost a couple of horses in the charge, unfortunately. We're going to carry on, though. We're going to move to the second one here. And take out the crossbowman here instead. Unfortunately, there's only eight horses left. Don't have enough cavalry to do this. This is dodgy. This is extremely dodgy. I'm not killing enough of them, I don't think. Yeah, let's get out there quickly. Holy crap, my ballista nearly killed my general. <laughs> Heart in your mouth. Heart in your mouth. Oh shit, we lost another horse. Right, get them out there, they're no use to me now. <laughs> that was fun. 
trying to force them into a charge. I'm not in a position to attack. Are they coming towards me, my men? Please tell me. Yes, you are moving slowly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, some more crossbowmen taken out with a shot there. Let's try and weaken the armoured swordsmen because they are fairly strong. So are the spearmen. And unfortunately, we don't really have the infantry strength to take them out. So we are going to have to be rather wary of them. I am thinking, though, a charge. Well, not so much a charge, but a march forward will be in the works very shortly. I'm hoping to get my allies to run about where my general is first so when I do march forward I will have a, a secondary army not far behind to support that's another good shot we've cooked up a lot of these horses right now 8 and 22 remaining more shots flying in and I'm going to actually I think I'm going to actually start um, charging again I don't know it might be worthwhile to try and flank around with the general. Unfortunately, it's all downhill. We are going to just walk. Walk in pace. No point overexerting ourselves. And hopefully we can take out some of these Englishmen. As more fireballs fly into them. That ballista has done fantastic. I need to get more ballista because this stuff is fantastic. This is how I like to fight my battles in Medieval 2. Try and weaken them as much as I can and I could carry on waiting although it might be worthwhile now attacking I'm thinking an attack could be in the works right of course my general is going to be exposed out here so we want to support him by going for a march forward they are starting to bring crossbowmen forward again. So let's not disappoint them. Let's start pushing up. Walking pace with everything. Everything's just going to go for a slow march towards them. Their general's dead, so we know a couple of uh, attacks would probably weaken them. Let's follow these blisters at the moment. Just look at, the, look at it from their view. And look at what is heading their way with the ballistas. Cooked horses all round. We don't have much ammunition left. Ooh, look at that. More flying in. Just missed the longbowmen. And uh oh. Their horses are actually in. Their crossbowmen are in range of my horses. So let's get out of there quickly. Let's, see, let's go to loose formation as well not take any losses if possible and the fireballs are still raining in on them and they are now actually going to start marching towards me we've drawn them out now my right flank is going to be taken up with my allies but they're going to be slightly later to the action so let's go for a united front let's group up and bunch up as much of these as possible and let's actually go for a charge on the Templar sergeants while we continue to fire upon the armoured swordsmen with the ballistas I'm hoping that the amount of men that I have will be enough to overwhelm and perhaps some of these units can flank around now that's the plan man with the plan this is the main battle here. The ballista needs to try and hold off the rest of their men. Once we get the spearmen on the cavalry, we should be fine. Which is working for me. We are routing the enemy. That's what we want. We've enclosed them and we are now enveloping them. In true badass style. Let's push forward and press our advantage. Let's charge the centre. General can get up the flank now. He's going to go behind. 
on top of that mountain. I'm actually going to start pulling troops to the flanks. As the ballista flies in, I might not need my enemy, my allies after all. They are slow to the battle. Very slow to the battle indeed. And what do we have here? We have Knights Templar chasing my general. General's going to take the opportunity to counter charge. Unfortunately, they're downhill and they got much better speed than me. We've killed one or two of them, I think. We might lose our general here. Four versus five. Shit. Damn it, that's got to stop happening. Sisterton Cecile is dead. But his death isn't in vain. We are killing Englishmen all round. We'll try and do anyway. My spearman just missed the nice Templar as well. Ballista can continue to fire where appropriate. And now we're losing our own men, of course. Which is rather shameful. Our kind of mini revival in this battle has been extinguished. And we are now fighting an uphill battle. I'm hoping to catch the Knights Templar with the Spearman quickly. Maybe catch one or two, which we have. Then route the horses. Come on. Evenly balanced. Go to Shiltron. Didn't work. Shit. Too slow. What do we have left? We have some infantry left. Let's go for the armoured swordsmen and try to envelop them then. While the rest of my force goes for the shootout option. We can start firing arrows upon them. We do have some spearmen as well. Which can be used. I'm going to tell my my general to be aggressive in this battle. We don't have much left, do we? Need to try and get myself back together now. Let's push the armoured swordsman back. Unfortunately, they got that hill and they're going to camp on that hill. But they're not going to win because of the amount of allies I have. So, this long drawn out battle should be won shortly. As a matter of fact, once I've lost a few more men, I probably will fast forward it and we'll get a quite a nice quick time kind of view of this battle. But I think. My ally is going to take over from me now and do what I couldn't do and wipe them out. I've taken most of them out. They are down to, well, 62% of them are gone. And all I have left are these men here, which I'm grouping up. And we're just going to push on them and fast forward. And this is what it's going to be like in fast forward. They're going to push onto them into the center and win. Let's continue. And allow them to continue to fire. Chase some of them off for me. They do have cavalry that they can use. And I think they'll probably do. So let's end the battle there. We won. <laughs> we had 14 men lost with that one unit. which That one general which came in right at the end. Captain Aineon. But a rather straightforward. Well not straightforward but you know what I mean. I'm going to execute these because I wanted them gone. The man of the armor, honor, man of the hour is Captain Bryce, who we will take under our command. Bryce of Clenog Vaur, nice to meet you. Hopefully, you won't die like most of my generals. And Norwich, as a matter of fact, Norwich is going to be used to wipe out the remaining, the remaining men, the remaining Englishmen in this fort. Oh, Mona. Maintain that siege. We don't want to lose too many men. Stick some heavy bill men in there. No, that should be enough for now. Just keep them pinned down. We have men being recruited in some of these settlements. Ooh, Lincoln is in a bad way. You need to get armies there. Um, Greg and I, Elise, can go to Lincoln. Help out the peeps in Lincoln and get some men... Well, eventually get some men. We can probably recruit some town watch for now, maybe. To help things out a little bit. Mardithi's on the prowl. He's pushing forward. I do believe I have a general somewhere. Yes, there he is. He's, he's the king, actually. He's the 
King Yago is going to meet up with Captain Rodri. And he is going to be insanely strong. <laughs> Look at the men that we are recruiting. We're going to actually give him some uh, mailed knights. Give him three mailed knights to go with his, his uh, Marathral horsemen. And of course give him the two units of Melanoid spears. He's going to have an insane force. Look at that army. Holy crap. That's going to be awesome. Of course, Captain William is here. So we've got to take him out with a, a general as well. We'll see what he does this turn. Chester may need to recruit units. Let's get some English billmen in there. And Lancaster can probably drop me some Welsh skirmishers to help out. And we are pushing forward with my of these. We're going to take out this fort. We're going to assault this fort and we're going to take this fort. Probably in an auto resolve. Although saying that. Yes, yeah, so we'll auto resolve it. We should be okay. Clear victory. I'm happy with that. We took the fort. We took the English out. And we're going to stay in this fort while we get our free upkeep. I'm happy with that. Although we might need some more infantry looking at this. Hopefully before long Lincoln can start moving uh, a good place to get infantry from. Carlisle, I need to get units from Carlisle as well. So Merinoy Spearmen, Gwent Raiders and English Billmen and Welsh Skirmishers are needed. I'm getting quite a few units here because of the northern border and I can take them to take Newcastle upon Tyne as well. Lancaster's okay, not really a problem there. I think we are okay for this turn. So I'm just going to double check things. Um... Bryce of Clonagvaud can actually head towards the fort and help out and take it out in two turns. Gwyn of Morganog, or Mag Morganug, which means Glamorgan in English, he's going to go towards Lincoln and help out with the resistance against the Barons Alliance and the English. We're not at war with the Barons at the moment, it's neutral ground, but we need to think about the future. On top of that, I want to get one or two more ships here as well. So let's actually... Recruit some more hulks. Get three of them. I want to have a badass navy so they can't take me out. We're going to take Dublin. And hopefully that will be the ending of this mid-season finale. So I'm going to end the turn. To turn 31. And Scotland. And there's William Wallace. And what are they doing? I think they're just moving around their lands. And there's the barons. Looks like the barons have some diplomacy for me. What do they have? Probably trade and map information, I'm guessing. Let's see. Map information, trade, and an alliance, which isn't a bad offer. But they're English. And my rule in this campaign is to kill everyone. So, no. And look at that. <laughs> Our reputation is very untrustworthy, which is quite funny. Um, relations is poor. Power is respectable. And they are very weak. So, just ignore them. Decline. And bugger off. I'm going to be wiping you out anyway. Probably in part 21 in a few months' time. Oh my, they have quite a big army there though, so we're going to have to be very careful. Another candidate for adoption, Philip Iago. Well, we'll take you. We'll have the Explorers Guild in London now. A new oh my, look at this. The course of warfare. Gun powder. This dark powder. Okay, so I'm not going to watch all that video. Um, basically, it's gunpowder. Oh, we failed a mission to blockade Dublin. But we're going to take Dublin for ourselves, so I'm not worried about it. Quite a lot of income coming in. Lots of new units being recruited around the lands. The Parents' Alliance is worse. So now we can actually start recruiting, or before long we can start recruiting uh, the guns, which we need to find out where to get them from. Boa, convert to town. It's not here. Only certain settlements have it. I think it's the bigger settlements. I have to double check this. Let's just quickly go through it. Small chapel, land clearance, night square. Nottingham was probably the best bet. Blacksmith, was that it? No. Gunsmith, there we go. So we have to have 40% Welsh culture and we can have a bombard. We're going to get guns for the second half of this campaign. So we're going to get one in Nottingham. And we can get them... Well, Nottingham will be alright for now. We'll convert, we'll get them all from Nottingham. I want to have one in Wales as well. Probably Montgomery has one. Gunsmith in, Montgo in Montgomery. 
So we will have some units coming from there. Oh, and Captain William is pr approaching the king. How dare he approach King King Yago? Holy crap, we're going to wipe him out with this cavalry. King Yago, take out Captain William. Let's fight this battle. I want to fight with the new king, King Yago. And it gives me an opportunity to wipe them out with my my Scythier Bowmen. Scythier Bowmen are kind of OP. They are a very good unit to use. And we're actually fighting on Welsh soil. It's nice to be back in Wales. It looks like Wales, these big mountains as well. Looks a lot like the place where I live, actually. We're going to get these archers. We're going to stick them where they are right now. The stakes. Cavalry and the general is all grouped into one group. And we're going to take them far away from my spikes. Probably the tree line. A good place to march towards. And then all of these spear units can be grouped up along with the Gwent Raiders. And the bows are going to completely wipe the fucking English out. Look at this now. They're going to march towards me. You don't march towards the hell where the, the Scythian bowmen. Oh my goodness. Fucking hell. The Irish won't stand a chance against these. Reload. Fire. Master of bow. Yeah, they're screwed. And they have cavalry which are going to charge me as well. Once the infantry and cavalry overtakes the longbowmen, I'm going to charge them from the flank with the cavalry once all my cavalry's past the stakes. Got a nice long line. This is what I'm going to do is just have long lines of stakes. Fight a defensive battle. And this is where the fun begins. They can't charge me with this cavalry. They cannot charge me with this cavalry. And they've charged. They run, they're going to get hit by the, the bows. Oh my goodness, look at that. Meat all over the place. Completely obliterated. That other unit's getting obliterated. 14, 13. Because they can't charge. I may as well guard and not skirmish. No need to skirmish where I am right now. Right, the cavalry is taking up a decent position. I'm going to just get them around now. To the flank. And more cavalry are charging towards me. Suicidal mailed knights. Wiped out. You're going to get killed, man. You're the last remaining male knight and you're gone. One unit completely decimated before they even got to my lines. And I've barely taken any losses. Look at this. Holy crap. And all they have left now is this bow unit, which are going to be assassinated. The bows are going to be assassinated now by all the cavalry. We've got a nice position on the hill. The generals even fleed. Only half the enemy force remains. Just making sure I get around those spikes. Don't want to take any unnecessary losses. And make sure that we spread some of the charges as well. Elite infantry, elite bows and elite cavalry. That's basically what we're going for. And we're just going to wipe them out. Look at this. All of that is England. We have lost, what, 10... Well, not even that. There's 75 in a unit. This unit hasn't even been t touched. 10 there. About 10. Probably 20 to 30 bowmen, and that's it. My infantry hasn't been touched. They're just standing there. My cavalry is just going to charge them now and completely kill them all. Look at this. Let's continue and watch them die. There we go. Don't piss off the Welsh. We kill you all. Simple as. Captain William is dead. And they're all dying all over the place. They're not going to survive at all. We're actually going to charge this unit for the sake of it. The last one remaining. Got him. Done. Men remaining, none. This army is going to wipe out Ireland. This one army is just going to wipe out Ireland. It's going to go there. In the second half of this campaign. I can ransom again. I'm going to execute though. Because why not? <laughs> oh bloodthirsty. I'm so bloodthirsty. 
Feeds appreciated. He should after that. No point getting uh, skirmishes. Let's go back down to the road, and we're actually going to continue to recruit. Um, what did we? We can retrain. Oh, I don't want to retrain anything. Although saying that, we are getting a ballista maker in one turn, so we will get some ballista, and then we could go for the gunsmith. That will take a further few turns. We've only got one slot remaining anyway, so probably probably have enough men, what we have. Yeah, it'll be fine. I think actually axe men. We could have a few axe men to go over separately on a boat, so we'll get two of them to go over separately. So that's our plans for Ireland. Now, Gwyn of Morgano can go to Lincoln. My fort is happy here. Can Lincoln recruit any units for me? Not at the moment. Nottingham has three turns for the gunsmith. We can actually repair the stables as well, which would help. And we can get units at Nottingham. So we're actually going to get Gwent Raiders and Mailed Knights. And then these four are going to go to the fort to reinforce our frontier there. Captain William's army's gone. We've got nothing to worry about in these lands now. Which means I can start funneling troops back to Lancaster where the north is. Carlisle is in the middle of recruiting units for the eventual push on Newcastle. I do believe I have a spy and a diplomat. Just going to check here. And it looks like Captain Lawrence is doing some killing of his own. Oh, it would be nice if the English could take out some of the Baron's armies, but that's not going to happen because I've got bugger all left because I've killed them all. Otherwise, I could swoop in and take it for myself. Uh, Bryce of Clinogvaud is going to go towards his fort. We're going to wipe out this fort eventually. Um, I think it probably places like Canterbury can probably upgrade um, Castle, Town Hall. Get the public order going. That will help us for now. I'm just going to try and boost up all of these settlements now. Port at L London. Arundel can have um, anything which helps our kind of culture or our our kind of uh, public order. Basically now, that's what we're going for. Just spend lots of money at, at Winchester as well. Uh, we're going to go for land clearance here. Just to help things take over and probably end turn once more. And we are pretty much at the stage, I think, in this in this uh, campaign where we will be ending the video shortly. Just going to kind of do a, a quick recap before I end it, and then that will be the end of the first half of the season, of the, the, the mid-season finale of this campaign. And we will be starting it back up then, probably in March or April. Just allow myself time to play Total War Attila and to concentrate on other series and videos that I have planned. I have quite a lot planned on my channel at the moment. I'm going to be doing lots and lots of different things. And of course your feedback is valuable to me so let me know what you think of this campaign so far. Also let me know for those of you that have been watching lots of these videos throughout the last kind of few weeks. Let me know what your favourite moments of this campaign have been. Anyway, Explorers Guild in Oxford we're going to take new mission to blockade Dublin which of course we will be taking Dublin for ourselves. Norway's got the best military apparently, but we have good production overall and population. Hostilities have ceased between the Barons Alliance and England. Recruitment report, lots of units being recruited. And now we can move Captain Aineon to the fort to reinforce our men there. It's actually a rebel army running around the place, which I don't like. Bryce of Kunagau can go there and assault, and then we can auto-resolve this battle. Mortars of and few battles just to keep the campaign ticking over. Oh my, it's a one to one. Let's uh let's actually keep it going. One more turn till surrender anyways. And there's actually a rebel army not far away. Which is interesting. I'm just gonna shovel check everything. There's actually a rebel army there. The rebels don't seem to be attacking me in this campaign, so I'm not too worried at the moment. Uh Chester has a few more units to be recruited. Get some more Merinite spearmen up there and actually retrain when we can. And the king can probably go here. He'll have his axemen soon. 
As a matter of fact, though, I think we have enough ships for him to to jump on. And that will be good, and we can start our invasion of Dublin. And let me just check once more. We have a couple of generals in Lincoln. Can Lincoln recruit finally? Yes, we get Welsh militiamen. No point in getting them. It's going to be a waste of money otherwise. Gunsmith's going to be two turns. And I have a diplomat, which I want to use. Scottish diplomats but there. Let's go to York. I can't bribe them, unfortunately. I think it's because this is their capital. I was hoping to try and bribe. We could go to Newcastle and try and bribe Newcastle. That might be a good idea. Lancaster can recruit some units for me. We've, got, we've actually got good units here, so let's get the Medanoid Spears and the Hellwheel Bowman and the Cavalry. That formation will be used to go across from here. So we'll be tagging from one, two, three directions and hopefully wipe these remaining settlements out from the Baron's Alliance. That would be that. And I think we can probably end turn once more and then... I will definitely be wrapping it up. So we took that fort there, so there was no point in in fighting them when I could wait it out. And the barons are moving men around. Newcastle is getting men moving all over the place by the looks of it. They don't know what they're doing, do they? They've actually left Newcastle wide open, so I could probably take that. Master Explorers Guild, why not? Let's just take that. We have the money to do it. Relations worsen between Norway. Who cares about Norway? Norway have done nothing in this campaign so far. So we don't care about them. Construction report. Of course we've got new things. And then at the end of turn, our income is 22,000. So we're doing very well. We've only lost two regions. That's not bad. And now, we can start thinking about our invasion of Ireland. So let's get Captain Yago on the ship. And let's get the ship over here. In the next turn he can drop my troops off there. I do actually have Axemen that can out of on. I need to get more here. But I'm going to get the gunsmith actually. Um, where is it? Oh, I've got the catapult maker, haven't we? So we can actually get some... We'll get a ballista. We'll actually hire one ballista and then we'll get the gun maker. So we can come over then with some firearms as well. So we have a nice big army plus some firearms to rip through Ireland in the second half of the campaign. So that's what we're going to do there. Okay. Nottingham has lots of units which have been freshly made for me. So these five units are going to go... I'm actually saying that. This cavalry is going to go to the fort. Can't quite get there this turn. That's okay. Just keep bolstering my force. Oh my god, York is completely overpowered with troops. Shit. They're all town militia though, so I wouldn't be too worried about them to be honest. And then Madog is going to go towards Newcastle upon time for me. Carlisle will be pushing out shortly, and Lancaster will be pushing out shortly. Okay, so there we go. This marks the end of the first half of this campaign, episode twenty, the mid-season finale. Our plans for part twenty-one, when we pick the campaign back up, will be. To move men from Carlisle to attack Newcastle. From Lancaster to go through the centre to reinforce York. And from this fort to attack York from the south. We will be rebuilding or building new buildings <laughs> in these settlements. Cardiff, Gloucester, Shaftesbury, Launceston. Get ports going, get more trade going, get more farms going. And try and get as much money as we can from these settlements. And then the king, King Iago, is on his way to Dublin, he will land in Dublin and he will take the Irish capital and then try and retake or take all of Ireland and make it all Welsh and then of course we will think about the Scots and we will go north and try and take out all of Scotland as well and all of Norway, but there we go guys I'm going to end the mid-season finale by looking at Wales and remembering where we started off with Carnarvon, Montgomery and Pembroke and how we pushed out and expanded to make the whole map well at least half of the map green thank you for watching guys your support has been fantastic in this campaign so far as of recording this video the first episode has something like 31 or 32 likes to zero dislikes the engagement's been fantastic and the regular viewers seeing you guys comment has been fantastic as well 
I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.